I got them out of the freezer, I defrosted them, but then I wanted to defrost them without them getting any air. So I wrapped them up in these sandwich bags and defrosted them in the airing cupboard. And um, I think that's done a good job. Look at those bubbles in this dough, look at that. This is the block mozzarella um, that was frozen and I grated it and we're done. I'm going to add some hot honey on but I'm going to put it on afterwards not before. I've learnt my lesson there. It does tend to burn. This oven does retain its heat very well so I've cooked two pizzas with it and it's still boiling hot even after the cook which is one of the things I love about the rock box is that when you're making lots of pizza you can keep the heat in this oven very well so if you're if you've got a pizza party going on this oven is fantastic for that you just keep the gas on you can turn it down to low in between the cooks and the heat of the stone is so thick that it retains the heat brilliantly so that's one of the things i absolutely love about this oven it's great for cooking more than one pizza um and not having to keep waiting for it to warm up it's already there um, as you can see, I've had this on, but it's very hot and it's, oh, look at the difference there. So look right by the door, 186, right in the middle there, 457, and right at the back there, 527. Sorry, that's just, <laughs> that's for information. I found that interesting, the difference in the degrees of the temperature in this oven. Okay, my pizza is here and it's ready to go in and I have learnt with this particular gosney dough not to cook on full because it uh, cooks very quickly the crust cooks really fast so I'm going to cook on low and uh, that'll give me time to get the base cooked as quickly as the crusts cook but every dough is different so you've got to make some you know changes to your cooking style peel I mean that's a very very hot stone I'm hoping um, I haven't burnt the base maybe I should have waited for it to cool down a bit more actually but too late now oh I love the smell of pizza cooking oh my gosh especially in the winter like in the autumn and it's a really cold day it's really wet it's really windy dark and then you look in here and you've got the smells of summer with the pizza cooking Oh, it's just so nice. So I do love cooking outside in the autumn and winter. Really do. So I've got this on low and it's cooking, I think, very fast on low. I'm glad I didn't have it on high. I'm not even putting it close to the back. I don't know why I do that because it goes up, so it should be okay. bubbles there I'm 
nope, just a bit more, just a bit more at the back. That was the original back on low. I didn't think it would cook that fast and it did. <laughs> so, yep, it's done. into this pizza it's all started pouring with rain again Ooh. yeah that base was super hot again it's Gosney's dough and I love the bubbling it has give it a try if you haven't but it's cooked the cheese beautifully there very nice I think it's my third cup with this dough but I've got to be careful because the base cooks very fast and I also put a little bit of hot honey on it it's super tasty so I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.